Welcome back. I am back again with another video for you guys about how I feel after my practice today. So this would be the first practice back, I think, or second practice back from CO Nats that I've had. So I decided that I want to start really pushing my round count up in practice, okay? And what I mean by that is I wanna start doing high round count stages. So instead of doing a, uh, you know, run a mag, stop, run a mag, stop, run a mag, I'm gonna start trying to run three mags at the minimum per stage run. So per, per session, per run, every single time. So that doesn't mean that I, I have to, uh, you know, run a stage, you know, per se, but I wanna start running the, running the gun at least high round count so it forces me to hold my fundamentals. So one of the issues that I have or that I've been catching myself with is that I kind of tend to lose my mental focus in the middle of a stage. So if I'm running, you know, let's just say I'm running a, a 30 round stage, I'll, I'll blast through a bunch of stuff and just be smoking it. And then all of a sudden I run into a position and I was like, yeah, cool, I'm, I'm doing great. I don't no longer have to focus. I don't have to think about the grip. I don't have to think at all. I just go and do. Uh, well, that tends to not, for me, doesn't work. It tends to fall off pretty hard. So <laughs> today was my first time actually attempting to run a high round count stages. Uh, everything was pretty much in a straight line. I didn't have any forward and backwards. I didn't have any side berms. I just had a straight berm today to work with. Um, I did work distance. Everything was 18 to 20 yards. So as I'm going through this practice, <laughs> I'm realizing that my fundamentals are extremely strong. Like my fundamentals and my grip have found another level. I've had a massive breakthrough since area eight on that and I am becoming more and more comfortable. I mean, I'm getting to the point now where I don't really have to think about the fundamentals of how the gun is being held. Um, I don't have to think about, you know, whether my grip's behind the gun or if I'm gripping it strong or all of those things. But what I do have a struggle with is I'm struggling with keeping that grip. So if I'm running one or two mags, uh, I, I will get into that second mag and I'll start to fall off a little bit. So what's going on there is that I'm losing my, the mental focus on, you know, basically grip and rip. So the, the aggressiveness stays there, but I won't keep my grip on that gun like I'm supposed to. So again, that's where the fundamentals are there. The grip is perfect. It's just, I don't keep that squeeze or I don't think about, sometimes I'll forget to look at the next target and I'll just be doing everything, be going so well, <laughs> and I'll just not look over to the next target. And I'll just slam the gun over there and miss. Um, and it's an instant reminder that the longevity of those fundamentals have become an issue. It's not so much that I don't have great fundamentals or those fundamentals aren't there, it's that I have to remember that those fundamentals start to finish are important. It's not just on a certain target, it's just not on a no shoot or a long distance, it's on every single target that you shoot at. Close, far, piece of steel, two pieces of steel, five pieces of steel, no steel, it doesn't matter, it's all the same. So now that I've kind of experimented a little bit with that, I started to think a little bit about, should I have been doing this a long time ago? Should I have done high round count practices, like sessions or runs? Not, it's not a practice because shooting a thousand rounds is very easy in, over time, but it's shooting those thousand rounds quickly or 500 or 600 rounds within an hour or two is the difference. Because if you're shooting a hundred rounds of run, I mean, man, five runs, you just shot 500 rounds like that easily, very, very easily. So I would say that as a newer shooter, I don't think the high round count is a good idea. And the reason I say that now that I've, I'm really starting to put some time behind it, I've had a really good, great session, really mentally locked in on this session to think about it. The reason why this session was so good for me was because I'm calling my shots. I'm, I'm super hyper focused on the gun. 
I'm understanding what the gun feels like, how it feels, how it's responding, how I'm not, how I'm responding to that gun and what the gun does. I'm super focused on, on my target and not on my sights. So I'm really seeing and calling those shots. I shot a swinger on every single run. So if I, if I ran 50, 60, 80 rounds on a session, I made sure I shot at that swinger at least three, four times, right? So pairs, two, two shots per every time I shot it. So I just go to a different location, shoot at it, go to a different location, shoot at it. But I shot at it at all different distances, all different speeds. So it was slow and fast. I'm trying to shoot it in one pass, trying to shoot it in two passes. I just had all these different opportunities to shoot at the same swinger at different speeds, which gives me a lot of swinger work. I mean, I understand now why guys like Eric have picked up their, why they shoot so many rounds, because you have to be super locked in for every bullet, right? You have to be able to look at bullet number 40 and shoot bullet number 40 like you did bullet number two, bullet number five, six. You have to be super locked in with the high round count. Now here's why I say that you shouldn't do this as a new shooter. If you can't call your shots and you really don't understand what the gun feels like or how the gun feels and you're just still trying to work on those fundamentals, hell, you're just trying to remember a simple stage plan. High round count is gonna frustrate you to, to such a point that you probably are gonna quit. <laughs> you probably aren't gonna learn anything, okay? And the reason I say that is because as I would go through this session, I started to catch myself like, oh, 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 that one was bad. That was the, oh, oh, I gotta make that one up. All right, so as you walk out there and you start to paste your targets after, so what I would do is I would run two to three mags at a time. I would run three mags. So I would run a high round count of 20, run, reload, run over to the left, shoot a bunch of stuff, reload again, come into the middle, or I would run to the middle and I wouldn't reload, so I'd be over 40 something rounds, right? And now the problem with that is, is if you're not calling your shots or you're not super focused on what you're feeling, you go out there and you start to pace up those targets and you're sitting there with, you know, eight, 10, 12, 13 Charlies on a stage, well, where did those come from? What did the gun feel like? Were you squeezing the gun properly? Were you not squeezing the gun properly? There's all these different things that are going on. That's actually my buddy Greg calling me right now. He's probably gonna to wanna to talk to me about this session that we just had, because it was so great. <laughs> but are you actually paying attention to every one of those bullets? Because the main issue is if you're not paying attention to the bullets, and what those bullets are doing when you're in that session and you're not understanding like, man, I got seven Charlies or seven Deltas on this target. Why? Why? Because what happens when you get to that high round count, you start to lose that mental focus, right? And it's, that's what the high round count is supposed to do. It's supposed to push you into that mental kind of cloudy zone where if you're not focused, you will start to lose the accuracy. You will start to lose the vision. You will start to make mistakes. You will start to look at the wrong targets. You gotta understand that the same targets are out there that you're shooting at the entire time, but you're shooting them multiple times, multiple ways, from multiple positions. That is why the high round count is so good. But if you're not ready for that, it can frustrate you. It can, it can actually go work the opposite direction. It can make you not learn and it actually make this, it'll make it to where you just shoot bullets, which is a giant waste of time. So just think about that in your training. If you're not able to start calling your shots and you're not focused enough during your training, then high round count probably isn't for you. But I will tell you, since I started, it's only been one session. I can't wait to get back to practice actually. I'm, I'm actually probably gonna try to get back there this week because this session was so good. But I'm telling you right now that that high round count, what I just put in, just for me personally, the experience that I just had, I can feel the giant breakthrough that I am about to have from that high round count. I mean, what it did for me mentally, just to make me stay locked in. If I can stay locked in for 60, 80 rounds, 
I will definitely stay locked in for 32. <laughs> That's for sure. So the more I hammer myself over the head with the difficulty of the high round count should make all the low round count stages that we do in this sport a joke. Now I get it. I understand it. I've actually finally put myself in that position to where mentally I'm ready. I have the grip. It's nuts. My last run, I shot 80 rounds. I shot four mags in this stage. I shot so many rounds at this stage that my hands were so tired, my forearms were so tired that I couldn't even holster. I ended up just putting the gun on the ground <laughs> after I unloaded it. I didn't want to move anything. <laughs> I actually had to walk away to, to go pick the gun back up because my arms and hands were so exhausted. But I will tell you what, the craziest part of the entire thing is I remembered the entire stage I didn't make a single mistake on where I was supposed to go. I had two Charlies. The fact that I was able to stay mentally locked in, execute everything I wanted to do and only have two Charlies, that's exactly what I was looking for. Exactly the practice I was looking for. I had a bunch of movement in that as well, but everything was run, stop, shoot, just getting ready for these bigger national matches because that's what we do now. We run, stop, shoot, shoot it a little more conservatively, but we shoot it fast. So guys, I'm ready, another breakthrough. It's here. If you have any questions, hit me up in those comments and I'll see you on the range.